okay so now let's go ahead and actually create a waypoint so I'm gonna remove that comments now and copy this name right down below I'm gonna paste it and now in here first of all we're gonna create a new game object with the name waypoint and after the word waypoint we're gonna add the child count of the waypoint origin okay for example waypoint one two three four five like that okay so in order to do that we're gonna say game object waypoint object is gonna be equals to new game object let's name this as waypoint and as I told you it will be joined by the uh, child count so the child count will be the waypoint origin dot child count and this will be of type uh, waypoint okay so now if you go ahead and save that script and right here now if you click on create waypoint as you can see it create waypoint and jo uh, joined by the waypoint origin child count zero okay if we create another one as you can see it is still uh, showing zero but if you click on inspector now as you can see it is type of waypoint okay the waypoint script is already attached as you can see we have the waypoint with the previous and next waypoint okay don't worry we will be assigning this automatically so let me actually delete this and now whenever we create a new waypoint we want that waypoint to be a child of this waypoint origin okay because for now it is not so right after this we're gonna set the waypoint object as a child of the uh, waypoint origin without affecting its uh, local scale so we're gonna say waypoint object dot transform dot set parent and right here I'm gonna pass waypoint origin and then I'm gonna pass false okay so now if you save this okay the waypoint origin is attached let's click on create waypoint as you can see it create waypoint zero okay and it is now a child of the waypoint origin if we create another one as you can see waypoint one two three four and to all of them as you can see the waypoint script is attached but now the next thing which we will be doing is uh, to add the next waypoint in each of them because if you do that manually it will be really a headache okay so now let's keep working on this first of all after this we're gonna get the waypoint component from the uh, created waypoints uh, waypoint object okay so we're gonna say waypoint waypoint this is gonna be equals to waypoint object dot get component okay and we want the waypoint script from each of the waypoint created now after this uh, we gonna check if there is more than one child un under waypoint origin and if that is the case then we gonna connect the new waypoint to the previous one okay so let me tell you how we will do that first of all as I told you we will check if there is more than one child so we're gonna say waypoint origin dot child count that is greater than one then now let's connect the new waypoint to the previous one so we're gonna say waypoint dot previous waypoint okay now this is this previous waypoint so that is gonna be equals to uh, waypoint origin dot get child we want to get the previous child so we're gonna say waypoint origin dot child count minus two dot get component waypoint Okay. then after this we're gonna say waypoint dot previous waypoint dot next waypoint is gonna be equals to the waypoint okay 
so now what this will do this will now automatically assign the previous and next waypoint okay if we go ahead and create a waypoint okay let's create five waypoint let's click on inspector click on the first one as you can see on the first one the previous is one and if you click on one the one previous waypoint is zero and the next is two and if you click on two the previous is one the next is three and the same for all of them and when we come right here to uh, waypoint 5 as you can see the next is missing because there is no next waypoint after 5 okay and also if you click on waypoint 0 as you can see the previous is making missing because as you know there is no other uh, waypoint okay so now how this will uh, be connected you will know that in the upcoming videos okay don't worry about this this is not an issue so now as you can see the waypoints can connect the itself by its own after this what we want to do now is uh, we will position and orient the new waypoint based on the previous waypoint so we're gonna say waypoint dot transform dot position equals to waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot position okay and then after this we're going to say waypoint dot transform dot forward and this is going to be equal to waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot forward okay after this we are gonna set the newly created waypoint as the active game object in the unity editor okay let me uh, tell you why we need to do that because for now if we create a new one as you can see that newly created waypoint is not uh, selected like this okay so what we want to do whenever we create a new waypoint we want to select that newly created waypoint so let me tell you how you can do that just simply type selection dot active game object equals to waypoint dot game object okay so now as you can see I select this waypoint origin but now if I create a new waypoint as you can see that 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 waypoint is automatically selected as you can see okay and you can notice that everything is attached automatically as well okay so now the next thing which we will be doing with our waypoint system is to visualize them because for now as you can see we uh, only see these things okay so what we want to do we want to draw uh, some lines from our previous waypoint to our next waypoint and also we want to show the waypoint width and also where each of our waypoint is okay so we're gonna visualize our waypoints in the next video and i hope you understand how we created this waypoint and how we assigned the previous and next waypoint okay i have explained it step by step and still if you have any problem let me know with this done let's end this video right here